You guys, I got it. The order is confirmed. Just gonna take a detail brush and blend it even more. You guys, the rain is like coming down right now. Cafe Verona from Starbucks. This blend, fire. No. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Here's the finished product. from the gym having a quick little snack of some leftover ceviche mm. and just some homemade cold brew and it's like five o'clock it's cool I don't need to sleep tonight <laughs> I just really wanted it I brewed it yesterday and I've been dying to try it so I just I couldn't help it I should have made myself a smaller cup but whatever it's fine mm. Mm. But it's actually pretty late in the day. It's like 5.30 or something. So again, why did I just make myself a cold brew? Apparently I don't want to sleep tonight, but it's actually gonna be like a pretty chill weekend. It's currently Thursday, but tonight we're gonna do something that I've been planning to do. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna make a fairly large online purchase. So I'm gonna get it in this vlog, but I probably won't actually receive it till the next vlog, but still. I'll show you guys. It's something that I've definitely been needing for this for YouTube. So, and if you saw the title, you already know what it is. But if you just happened to click and didn't look at the title, I did take a look at it last week when we went to Costco. So that's a little clue in case you want to guess. But whoever is going to head to the gym and when he gets back, we're going to make the purchase switch. Yay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy. I just happened to go to Whole Foods today because I need to restock on my coconut cult yogurt. Last time I went, I had been looking all over the store for these. These are the watermelon smart sweets. I know these came out like a while ago, but I never got a chance to try them. And when I went last time, they were fully out of stock of all smart sweets. So I was really bummed. But when I went today, not only did they have smart sweets in stock, but they actually had these because the last few times I went to the particular Whole Foods that I went to, they hadn't started stocking this yet. So I'm really, really stoked. I am like dying to try these. Oh my God. Oh, this is the big bag that I got. Okay. Hopefully I like them, but there's pink and there's green. So there's two of them. I'm sure that they are the exact same flavor though, but. Ooh. Oh my god, hands down, these are my new favorite smart sweets. These are fire. Oh my god. Yum. These have officially replaced the peach rings for me. That's my favorite. But I gotta get back to work. I took like an extra home break to go to the gym and run over to Whole Foods really quick, so I gotta get back to some of the things that I need to finish up today. I'll see you guys later when we are ready to make our purchase. All right, you guys, the time has come. I am purchasing a new MacBook for myself. 
Truth be told, the one that I actually edit and everything on is actually my work computer. So I've been needing to get my own personal computer for a very long time. And I just decided I'm over it. I want my own computer. I don't want the memory to keep getting bogged down by like all of my work files and stuff. Once I'm done working on a video, I immediately have to move everything off just because A, I want to clear up space since it's not technically at my laptop. And B, I just like, I feel uncomfortable having like my YouTube stuff sitting on my work computer. So I'm excited to find finally make this very much needed investment for my channel. So I found a deal on Costco for my computer and I am pulling the trigger tonight. It's online only, which is why I have to do it this way. I can't actually go into Costco for it, but I'm very, very excited for it. Here it is. I'm getting the 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is the one with the touch bar. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just getting the eight gigabytes of memory because I already have an external hard drive, but it's currently 1099 for a few more days. So I wanted to make sure that I was still able to get it at this price point because it'll go up like quite a bit if I don't. I was hoping that it would arrive in time for this vlog. It may not. So you guys will probably see it on the next vlog, but yay i'm so happy you guys i got it the order is confirmed i would show you more of the page but my address is on it but i am so excited it'll get here on monday which means you guys will see it on the next vlog which will actually be right after this vlog i planned on doing a day in my life just single day vlog on the 25th so you guys will see me unbox my new laptop like within a day or so of this vlog going up so stay tuned but yay i'm so happy Hello you guys. Well, today's portion of the vlog is just like 100% in the kitchen, but um, as you guys saw, I, oh, hello, please go. Hey, go Tinkle. Go Tinkle. Thank you. I know. I'm so sorry. It's raining out there. The quicker you do it, the quicker you can come back inside. But as I just stated, it is raining, but I made some chili earlier tonight because I knew that it was going to rain. I knew it wasn't going to rain like for dinner. I really hope you went to the bathroom because I'm not getting up early. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, because I knew that it was going to rain tonight. I knew it wasn't going to rain in time for us to like be eating chili while it was raining, but still it's going to rain like over the next day or so. So we have chili ready to go for tomorrow to be cozy, but I have definitely fallen behind. So today is just going to be a little really quick update. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just like totally forgot to vlog today until dinner time. And after Trevor went to bed, I watched TikToks for like three hours. So I wasted my night and I was like really annoyed with myself because granted I was probably being a little bit ambitious, um, but 
this weekend I wanted to do more work in the spare room. I don't want to make the promise of doing a major thing in there yet but I'm hoping to get a major project done in there but before I get that done I need to clean out the closet so tomorrow maybe oh god we have like people coming over tomorrow midday so I and I highly highly doubt I am gonna wake up in time to do any closet cleaning before then so I guess on Sunday all day we will be working on decluttering the spare closet just throwing out a bunch of junk because I really need to get rid of a ton of shoes especially since I've been partnered with Shoe Dazzle and I know for sure I'm gonna partner with them again in spring. I just definitely need to get rid of shoes knowing that I'm gonna have like a bunch of new shoes coming in so I definitely need to work on that on Sunday make a little room in there then we can hopefully do the big project I wanted to do in that room but again we will see how it goes and if I run out of steam. Maybe I'll try to get some stuff done tomorrow so that we can do the big project on Sunday. But I also want to update you guys. This won't affect like when you guys will end up seeing the next vlog, but we had a little snafu with the computer last night. I wasn't paying attention and I auto-filled the wrong billing information for the card I used to pay for the laptop. So it canceled the order and I had to reorder it today. So it's not going to come Monday anymore. It's going to come Tuesday. So I'm just, instead of vlogging on Monday, I'm going to vlog on Tuesday. I'm basically going to make sure that I vlog whatever day the computer comes. So for sure, 100%, that'll be the video after this. So not anything you guys have to worry about, but it was just like kind of annoying and that took up like a good chunk of my afternoon as well. But it was actually kind of a blessing in disguise that I ended up getting that order canceled because I had actually ordered the laptop in the wrong color. On the first attempt, I ordered the silver and really what I wanted was the space gray, which is the slightly darker one, but I just got so excited and I like pulled the trigger without like really looking but since I had to reorder it now I have the correct color laptop that I wanted so happy accident a little bit bummed I have to wait an extra day for it but I mean honestly like it's not that big a deal I just wanted to come in here and update you guys on like those couple of things and I'm gonna get to bed it's like three o'clock in the morning now TikTok got me I'm back like on a whole TikTok thing I posted my first TikTok of 2021 my first TikTok in like what is this like three months or something like that oh first tiktok in two months but still but oh anyways i'm getting to bed oh and i wanted to let you guys know because you guys might have been confused i will link the chili recipe that i made tonight down below it's the exact same chili that i made and i think it was my fall glow up vlog the only difference is is that I didn't get any roasted corn this time around so it's just missing the corn that I used in that one but either way I'll link the recipe if you guys want to try making that chili. The stuff that I did at the very end where I ended in like that white liquid that's a slurry just in case anyone was very confused as to what I was doing it was to thicken up the chili because that recipe runs a little bit thinner but yeah I'm sure you guys have even forgotten about that clip by this point but for some reason I feel that it's necessary to let you know that but anyways I'm rambling because I'm sleepy so I'm gonna get to bed. I will see you guys in the morning.
Hey guys, so I just made a little Trader Joe's soy chorizo egg scramble. I've never tried this, like their chorizo before and I was very curious. I've heard very good things about it, so. Mmm. It's ball. It's good, yeah. It's not as, um, I thought it was gonna have like a little bit of a kick to it, but it doesn't, which I, I totally don't mind. It's good. Yum. I'll put all the ingredients that I used in the description box if you guys want to try recreating this, but it's delicious. It's like noon on Saturday, and I'm sure you guys might be able to hear it's raining. It's gonna be raining like all day today, but we are just gonna be hanging out around here. Trevor's gonna be making his tuna casserole later, and we're actually gonna go over to our neighbor's place because the McGregor fight is on tonight, which it's been like a little while since I talked about any fighting things on this channel, but if you haven't been here for very long, we love MMA. It's like always a big deal when there's a big fight. So we figured make it easy on us. It's raining. We don't want to drive. We're going to watch with our neighbors, which is so good. Oh my God. But I'm just going to finish up here and then I need to clean the kitchen and stuff because our friends are actually going to come over here first, or I should say our friend is actually going to come over here first. So once I'm done here, I'm going to tidy up and everything and then get ready. I just jumped out of the shower. I feel so much better, but I'm changing right now. I just have on this tank top as an underlayer. This isn't actually like something that's gonna show, but I put on a pair of my Windsor Shaper fleece leggings just because they're warm inside, but they're still like really, really comfortable. This is actually a fresh pair. I literally just unboxed it. I have a little Windsor haul going on over here, but I usually always in the winter time with every order get a pair of these because I just like love them so much. So I just want to make sure that I'm fully stocked up on them, but I'm wearing those on the bottom. And then I have this little sweatshirt. It's actually from Wish and I'll like probably dive into this a little bit more on another video, but nice and comfy i got like an extra large and i wish it was a little bit more oversized but it's fine like it's still adequate enough yeah that's what i'm wearing i need to get my hair up in a towel so that i can dry but i'm gonna do my makeup here in a second and i figured we'd do just like a little mini get ready with me the makeup look that i'm gonna do is like my quick look better in 10 minutes routine so i thought i'd share that with you guys it's a little bit updated from the one that i did i think like two years ago so i'll go through like all the products and stuff that i use for it all right hey guys back at my vanity i have my hair up you can see like the remnants of my little Windsor haul back there. Sorry, the room's like a mess, but I at least made the bed. You know, my morning routine, I said I wanted to be better about that and progress. But I'm gonna get started on my face. The first thing that I'm gonna go in with, as always, my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I mean, I don't use this for every single makeup look, but for like my everyday look and stuff like that, I usually use this. So I'm just gonna apply. Massage it in and then since it's the winter time even though I am oily I still want to give my skin a little bit of a glow So I'm actually gonna do the max strobe cream underneath my makeup just so that it like kind of gives a little bit of a healthy dewy effect on my skin Just gonna do cheeks chin nose a little bit on the forehead just you know for that like nice healthy glow then the smashbox halo tinted moisturizer you guys know how much i love this 
and it's like a bit dark for me right now just because it's like the dead of winter and I haven't seen the sun in forever but that's okay help me out a little bit with my paleness whenever you're working with a foundation color that's like a different color than the rest of your skin spread it onto your ears and down your neck just so that it looks a little bit more natural because if your ears are a totally different color from your face it kind of like gives it away and you guys i'm so sorry if you can hear some like muffled tv in the background our friend is over and he and trevor are watching a movie downstairs and trevor is playing it very very loud so apologies about that but next thing i'm gonna do is go in with concealer like this beginning part is like the same still as most of my makeup routines and if you didn't see my last get ready with me i was talking about how i've been doing this more like lifted concealer situation so that's why i'm not doing the traditional triangle right now and this concealer is of course my dior forever skin corrector concealer taking the tati bundle just blending it out and i take the leftover concealer and just lightly pat it on my lids as kind of like a primer and I always forget the step with this concealer technique. You're supposed to put a little bit of concealer on your brow bone to just kind of lift up your eyes a little bit. Okay, cool. And then going in with the Fenty Cream Bronzer. The color that I have is number four, Honey Glaze. I'm gonna take the Blendiful. I love this combination together just because the Blendiful is so pliable. I'm gonna take a little bit on that fold right there and it's like the perfect shape to, you know, work in. A little bit of bronzer or contour it's my favorite way to apply any kind of cream or liquid bronzer or contour under the chin and drag it down and then taking some translucent powder i am still so into the rcma no color powder it's just like a classic i'm gonna take a little bit in a dish and make sure that i'm not creasing you know i want a little bit more concealer on my under eyes I just feel like even though I got like nine hours of sleep, I feel like I look extra tired. Is that just like adulthood? Can't do anything about that. You're just constantly like tired. Okay, a little bit better. Now I'm just going to take a brush, take a little bit of powder, and go ahead and set the whole face. I start with the eyes just because I want to stop any creasing from happening right away. And then just kind of lightly swirl it all over the rest of my face and the reason why i use this powder instead of my regular setting powder or powder foundation is because i just want this a little bit more natural and light and this powder basically just seals in the creams instead of depositing like more color or anything like that all right so i am going to do a little bit of shadow going into the natasha denona palette this one is the bronze palette and I just like I use it every day I love it so much I'm gonna go into ridge right here and I'm basically just gonna apply that all over the lid and just make sure it's blended out on the edges taking a flat liner brush I am gonna go into magma and suntan I'm just gonna combine those two and I'm gonna draw on a wing pretty much and then diffuse it and blend it out So draw it on first and just blend it out. I'm just gonna take a detail brush and blend it even more. And then taking a mix of suntan and ridge, just gonna do a little bit on my lower lash line, not too much, just to balance out the eyes a little bit. And then taking just any black shadow, I'm gonna just dig into this Burberry palette because I have it out here. I got it for Christmas, I haven't put it away, but it's already here, might as well use it. Here it is, in case you're curious, it comes in a little case like this and it has like a few different brushes. I haven't even opened these, but these don't look like great brushes. So I'm probably just only gonna use the palette, but this one's kind of like a dark, cool palette. You guys can see it's got this shimmery white shade, two gray shades, one is silvery, this one's kind of like pewterish, and then this one is a matte gray, and then a black right here. So I'm gonna take the black on a teensy tiny detail brush. This one 
is from elf and it's the small smudge brush and i love this for a shadow liner and i'm just gonna follow the same shape as the brown wing but i'm not gonna diffuse it i'm gonna bring it in further than the brown wing God damn he watches tv on like such a high volume i'm gonna do my brows a little bit I like to make this very quick, so I just go in with the e.l.f. wow brow. And honestly, when my eyebrows are actually microbladed and not two years faded, I don't have to do them at all. But since I need to get them redone, they need a little help right now. I have like a little bit of microblading left, just like a shadow behind my brows, which is why my brows don't look like super tragic without anything on them. But I really need to get them done like I miss it so much especially on the tails the tails are where I have like nothing and do a little bit of tight lining if you have thicker lashes you probably don't need to do this part but my lashes are thin yeah for me grande lash grew out my existing lashes and it gave me a little bit of thickness but it wasn't a ton of thickness it basically mainly gave me length which I'm not mad about like that's what I really wanted from it so I still need to do a few tricks to thicken them up, but I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Going in with the Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. I need to get a new one of this. This thing is drying out. I'm gonna go over it with the L'Oreal Telescopic just because, like I said, it's dried out a little bit, but I at least got that base down of it. I like the Better Than Sex because it's the best thickening one I've used, but the Telescopic is great for length. But I also really like the telescopic for my lower lash line. You guys know it's my holy grail mascara for the lower lash line. It just like defines so much. And I know I have some mascara there. I'm going to let it dry and then wipe it off. Now some blush. And I'm going to go with this e.l.f. It's like a cream stick in Luminous Berry. And I'm going to apply it high up on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers. Sometimes I grab a brush, but right now I'm being lazy. Take some leftovers on my nose. Okay, then I'm taking the Becca Cream Contour, um, contour, highlighter. This one is in the color Opal, if I could get it open. There's what it looks like. I smashed the middle, ignore that part, but I'm just gonna take a little bit and just apply it right over top on the cheekbones what i like is that it's like a very natural glow it like kind of accentuates what the strobe cream is doing underneath my makeup without being like a you know blinding highlighter or anything it just gives the skin a nice sheen you guys can see it it's very nice very natural very pretty and you guys i know that this feels like it's taken 20 minutes because it has but i promise you when i'm not talking to the camera it takes like 10 minutes if that actually you know what I was gonna go into my usual Wild Nothing palette for my inner corner highlight. I always have to do that. But I think I'm gonna try this white one right here from Burberry. It's a little bit on the cooler side. But hmm, it's nice. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the ColourPop one's definitely better, but I don't hate this. I can live with it. And then I'm gonna spray myself down. When I'm just doing like a regular everyday face, I actually don't use my like regular mattifying sprays or anything like that. I just go in with the Pixi Glow Mist just because I like that's a little bit more natural. And while that's drying, I'm gonna do my lips. Just gonna go in with this So Juicy ColourPop Plumping Gloss. This is in Beechwood. On days like this, I just wanna do a gloss that has a little bit of a tint in it. There we go. And that's my way to look better in 10 minutes. This isn't necessarily like supposed to be a natural look. I'll do that on days where I'm like really, really laid back, but this is more a look for if I'm gonna go out, maybe meet someone for lunch or, you know, hang out with our neighbors or something like that. Something where I wanna look like I tried a little bit, like I pulled myself together, a little bit more elevated from a natural look, but I don't wanna put in like the effort of like a full glam face. This is basically the face that I do. I might change out a product here or two, but this is like the basic routine and the techniques that I would use. But yeah, this is what it looks like, but I'm gonna go dry my hair 
and then I think Trevor is gonna start making his tuna casserole soon. So we will check in on him in the kitchen. We're just gonna start cooking. <laughs> Are you scared? You? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Did not see <laughs> you guys, the rain is like coming down right now. You hear it? We got this tarp not that long ago to cover up all of our stuff because we knew the rain was coming, but. Yeah, there's like a ton, you can see Spartacus's kennel underneath there. We just leave it outside, but wow. Like it was raining lightly, like maybe an hour ago and now it's like pouring again. But also I made Trevor and I iced coffees with the cold brew again, but seriously, Starbucks Cafe Verona. You gotta get it. It's the best coffee to cold brew with. I mean, it's the best like coffee grounds in my opinion like if you have like a drip coffee at home but you guys know i use my nespresso for hot coffee but for a cold brew this is necessary Okay, so I'm trying this cold brew right now with some of this Planet Oat, oat Milk. I've had this for a little while, this is the vanilla flavor. I got it for hot cocoa, but I thought I might try it in here, but it's like not mixing at all, so I'm a little concerned, but let's see how this tastes. Oh no, I don't like it, I need to remake that. That's not good, that's not a good mix. All right, take two. Can never go wrong. Barely enough left. I'm definitely gonna have to rebrew right now. Oh my god, look at that. Just like the right amount. So much better. Oh my god. But I do need to get a new brew started because I'm addicted and I need to have this light daily now. So let's get a new pot going. I just washed this and cleaned it up. I think I've showed you guys how I make my cold brew in this before, but I know I showed this like 60 million times and I've talked about it 60 million times in this vlog alone. But this Cafe Verona from Starbucks, this blend, fire, it's the best. Just get it, just use it, you'll thank me later. So this one has tasty notes of dark cocoa and caramelized sugar, which I think is why I like it so much because my favorite Nespresso, which is the Arpeggio, has cocoa notes in it, so that makes sense. And also, wow, look, they're both purple. That's crazy. Anyways, it says to do 16 tablespoons. I basically just go to the top of the filter and I just spoon it in just so that's you know, less messy. I could pour it, but... I don't want it to be too messy. And then what you're supposed to do is just kind of like wet the coffee grounds a little bit. Let that sink to the bottom kind of to get it going. And this will like help the water pass through the coffee grounds a little bit easier if they're already damp. And then just slowly pour in the water. You kind of have to like do this in stages because it fills up and then it, like it needs time to filter through. And here I'll show you guys the top view. So that's what I mean. It like fills up and you gotta like wait a few seconds so that some of it can filter through down. So basically you wanna get enough that it's gonna cover all of the grounds that are in there, which is about like where this is. I just did a pour so I know that that last pour is gonna fill me up all the way to where I need to go. So I'm just gonna close it and it's ready to brew. And one step that I feel like forgot to tell you guys is like, after you do that initial like first small pour on the grounds to moisten them you're supposed to stir the ground so that all of it gets moistened i forgot to do that so it made like the first few pours of this take much longer to filter through the whole thing so don't forget that step stir it before you start like pouring in the rest or else you're going to be sitting here for forever but i'm all set 
ready to go and I'll have a fresh brew tomorrow but you guys have already seen me drinking this this whole vlog so you know what the finished product's gonna be okay got my iced coffee which is like almost done this is literally gonna be like three more sips for me and then I got some bags here because we're gonna be working on the spare room we're in here right now here it is in all its messy glory but main thing is this closet I want to reorganize it I want to get rid of a ton of shoes like you guys can't see oh all of my bags are falling but you guys can't see on this side of the closet I think it's too dark but that's all shoes it's like literally a pile of shoes so I'm gonna go through get rid of a lot because I get shoes regularly from shoe dazzle which is making me more open to getting rid of a lot of shoes so I think I'm gonna get rid of at least half then organize this up a little bit and then we are gonna work on the uh, big guy right here which is the uh, bookcase all right i am gonna start right now but i want to put on a podcast i just started listening to that so sabotage it's neats on raider emma legere i believe she's emma rose here on youtube and sophie i can never pronounce her last name i think it's suchan or something like that i don't really follow her so i've never heard her full name i've just seen it but this is like the first one i'm listening to how, how far am i into it looks like i'm like 10 minutes into it and i actually like it so i'm gonna listen they only have like a few out on spotify so i'm gonna put this on while i work on this situation over here Got it. and that's where the old clothing rack went in case anyone was curious i've just stuffed it in there but dang i actually need to organize the jackets probably before i can get into there great Pretty much done with phase one, which was to organize and clean out my shoes. So this little shoe rack is from Wish. And like I mentioned yesterday, I don't want to dive too much into any of the Wish stuff that I'm showing on my vlogs because I am going to do like a dedicated review on my experience with Wish, the products that I got and stuff. Just like a couple quick things that I feel like are relevant though to this in particular is I went with this shoe rack instead of getting like a nicer one off of Amazon because this is adjustable. Like you can build this as tall as you want to go. I think that this can actually go up to like three times as tall as I've built it. So I could put another layer on if I need to, like if I acquire too many shoes. But I'm just trying to keep this right now to shorter booties, sneakers that I'm not keeping downstairs because you guys know we have like a little entrance cabinet and that's actually where I keep a lot of my sneakers because I wear those the most often. This is more like specialty sneakers like my LA gear and sketcher ones or like my coach ones that I don't necessarily like slip on these are more like pairs that I need to style and then like my shorter booties and my heels down here and then what I like about this is you can raise it so you can still store stuff underneath so I have a J Crew bag here and then I have my wedding shoes over there and I will say really quick without going into too much detail it was very very easy 
to assemble, but it's not the best quality. And again, I will dive into that more in my wish video whenever that happens, just because half of the order is taking forever. So I don't know when that'll go up. I'm so sorry. So this is just like a little quick preview of that wish video, but I have a ton of layers left over. So if I wanted to build out more like a second shelf of this somewhere else in our place, I could. The only thing is like, it's not the most aesthetic. It's clearly not a super nice shoe rack. So I don't want it displayed anywhere. And it's a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. I had wanted to put it against this wall over here, but it wouldn't have fit. So this is really the only spot where I can put it where it's long enough, but unfortunately I can't build it up that high. But I think that this is a good size for right now. I do worry about once I get my spring order with Shoe Dazzle, I'll either need to clean shoes out or I can probably put one more layer up top and then I just can't put anything right here. But after the next layer up, I am out of room. So I'm probably going to need a different solution if that happens, or I really should just uh, clean out my shoes again if that ends up happening. But this isn't all my shoes, as you guys know. I also have this pile. These are my taller boots. So like booties that are taller and then just like my actual boots. And those are going to go in the bookcase, which... I'm gonna start clearing out all of this stuff. This is stuff that I'm giving away. That's for storage. That's the little shoe rack. I'm gonna like either throw it out or I'll talk to Trevor. Maybe we'll put it on like offer up or on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. But yeah, once I clean all of this stuff out, I should have enough room to build my bookcase, but Trevor's mom is on her way. So I'm gonna take a break, say hello to her and then clean this out and then we'll start on the bookcase. And I am back. We had a little visit from Trevor's mom. I think I mentioned that. And then I wanted to make sure, as Michelle had just got in her vlog uploaded, I wanted to make sure to watch it right away. So I took like a little bit of an extended break because she has been trying to get that uploaded since last night. And I've been like on the phone with her pretty much all morning, essentially being like YouTube IT for her just because you know, I've been doing this for like two years. I upload three to four times a week. During Vlogmas, I upload much more than that. And I've basically seen it all. I can tell by like where the export or the upload is failing, if it is a bandwidth issue, file issue, connection issue, whatever. So I was trying to like help her. And like the second she got it up, I was like, okay, as soon as her mom leaves, I'm watching her video because I want to support. So if you guys haven't seen her vlog, go to her channel. I'll link it in my description, but I am now gonna start attempting to build this bookcase. I wanted Trevor's help on it, but we're just like, our schedules are never aligning on like when both of us are willing to build it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna build it right now, see how far I can get. And I think he should be done with football relatively soon. So if I hit a wall and I need his help, he said he's willing to help me after football, but I'm gonna see if I can do it all on my own. I think I can, but it's just like, it's six feet tall or maybe a little bit taller than that. And I'm 4'11", so I'm a little bit intimidated, but I think we got this. I think I can do it. If not, like I said, he's just downstairs and he'll help me out. Oh God. No. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ow, that's my foot. Let's hope that the struggle that it took me to just get it in here right now is not an indicator of how hard it's gonna be to put it together. I'm like laughing. It's actually about to start raining like any second. And I'm like, wow, rainy day activities, puzzles. And I'm like, gonna do the ultimate puzzle. So, oh my gosh, okay. I can do this. Just another sunny day in Southern California.
Give me a kiss. I'll consultation a here, helping. Oh, I didn't want the mess. Why? No, no. You look cute. It's being dorky. He reminded me we have a power here. drill. What? So my son is here. Oh, I don't know if you can get in. Hi, buddy. Be careful. It's a construction zone, sir. But yeah, this is a lot that's going on. Also, our screwdriver, I think, is stripped because I'm having a hard time screwing stuff in. So Trevor's checking on the power drill right now. Uh, but what's nice about this little thing is that they actually bagged everything up per step. So that's kind of cool. I got through step one. I mean, I need to finish up step one. Not everything's screwed in all the way, but I'm on step two, which is like the biggest pieces right now. I think I'm just intimidated because of just the sheer size and height of this because I built our furniture that we have downstairs. Well, Trevor helped with the bench and then I built the, I the cabinet thing on my own. I was saying I built the entrance table on my own, but you helped with the bench. So I'm like- I also found this in there too. I'm just, oh yeah, so. Ooh, this one looks worse than that. Yeah. And then this one's dragging? Yeah. Oh. Do you think I just put the wrong door on the wrong side? No. The problem is sometimes with these ones that are already pre-cut, uh -huh. they can be off by a millimeter and that's what you get. I just don't want it to drag on the bottom because it's going to tear up the thing. So, I mean, if it goes up a little bit, that's fine, but. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Here's the finished product. We are having issues with the doors, Trevor says, because of the way that these pre-manufactured furniture sometimes goes. Sometimes the holes are off, sometimes you know the cut is off by a millimeter. So he came up here and did the best he could to get this even. But you know what? I'm gonna live with it. It's fine, it's not that bad. But I really love the color on this. I think it's so pretty. I love the shelves. I didn't realize that it was gonna be this wide, so hopefully it'll fit over in the corner that I need it to fit into. If not, we're gonna do a little bit of furniture rearranging right now. And since we have the tools out, might as well hang this up. Trevor is grabbing some nails and he's gonna do this one for me. But it's just gonna go right in here. So when I film like from this angle, you guys will be able to see it. So for the shelves, I'm gonna see what I can do tonight with what I have. I'm still, like I think I mentioned before, waiting on some pieces, but I can for sure at least put all of my boots in here, which is gonna be such a freaking relief. I can't even tell you guys. I'm 
I'm calling it a night. Trevor said to just clean up the rest over the next few days because I was exhausted, but you guys, it just looks so good. So much better than it did before. Oh, I'm so happy. We are not done in here, just FYI. I think I already mentioned the couch cover, but I also want to get like a shag rug, not a shag rug, like a faux fur rug, like a round one to go just like in the very corner there. Then I have my eye on this storage stool from Amazon that I want to get that I'm going to put some of the tech stuff that's in here into. And then I need to figure out where to put the travel stuff, but once those like last few pieces are in and then i get all the stuff to style those shelves with and this will be done and i'll do like an official filming room tour for you guys